IIT Hyderabad. So I assume that he is a PhD student who is working on um, in magnetic skirmions. So, so yes, Vivekananda, yeah, please uh, go ahead with your presentation. Yeah. Okay. Is my screen is visible? Yes, yes. So just oh. make it full screen and then yes. start. Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, myself uh, Vivekananda Thakurai from the Department of Material Science and Metallurgical Engineering, IIT Hyderabad. First of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to present. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the topic uh, gate controls Kerbian based logic. So this is the basic outline of my presentation. First, I will talk about the introduction to the magnetic system. Then I will discuss about the Skarmian based reconfigure logic gates. Then I will summarize my presentation. So first of all, what is uh, magnetic Skarmian? So basically magnetic Skarmian are the topologically protected chiral spin structure that can act as a nanoscale, uh, nanoscale uh, that information carrier. The theoretical prediction was given by in the 1989 and first experimental observation of the Skarmian in 2009 which form of a Skarmian in MNSI crystal structure. And this occur in many different magnetic system with twisting interaction in case of the bulk as well as thin metals. So it is a promising candidate for the spintronic memory and logic application because of its falling property. It has a nanoscale size so that we can get high data density and it is a highly stability due to DMI interaction which has it topologically protected and it requires less current driving current for its motion as compared to the domain one. And it is fit to the spintronic because we can inject the magnetic skirmian, we can transport, we can manipulate as well as we can detect the magnetic skirmian. So what are the energy interaction leads to the formation of the magnetic skirmian? Basically in case of the ferromagnetic system, we have direct exchange interaction where the two neighboring spins of the atom that align to parallel to itself, where in case of the indirect exchange interaction which leads to DMI interaction, Zilonsky moria interaction, where two neighboring spins are aligned in perpendicular to each other. So the interaction, the, there is a competition between the direct exchange interaction and uh, the DMI interaction along with all energies leads to the a spiral spin structure that leads to the formation of a skarmian. So basically the DMI has two types, uh, the interfacial DMI and bulk DMI. In case of the interfacial DMI, the neighboring spin of the ferromagnetic layer that will interact with you one atom of the heavy metal which having the large spin orbit coupling that leads to the chiral spin structure. So basic uh, DMI origin is spin, high spin orbit coupling and broken inversion symmetry that leads to a nil structure skirmian. While in case of the bulk DMI, the basic origin is spin orbit coupling and non-center of symmetry that will lead to a bulk structure skirmian. So magnetic skirmian are basically two types, nail skirmian and bulk skirmian. If you, can, if you see the skirmian, the core is pointing down and periphery is pointing off. When you move from the core to the periphery, the spins will uh, move in a radial in plane. So that gives the nail structure skirmian. While in case of the bulk skirmian, it will, the spin will rotate radially perpendicular to the plane. So that leads to a blast type skirmian. So basic application of the magnetic skirmian in case like a logic device. So first of all, I would like to tell about in 2015, Jan Group, they demonstrated a skirmian based logic device and they have demonstrated in a Y type uh, racetrack where uh, they have uh, uh, designed two different uh, nanostructure in which for the logic operation of OR and AND. You can clearly see that the width of the nanotrack will be different uh, in case of the both of the architecture where after that in 2018 Leo group designed also two different architecture in H type nanotrack where you can see that they have designed uh, they have proposed two different uh, that giving the uh, notches that will help to give the edge repulsion of the skirmian that leads to the OR logic 
and this is here they uh, didn't introduce any notches for the performance of the ant logic operation so he, uh, yeah, so we have proposed a simple model so here the single device structure we can able to perform both or and ant logic operation in a reconfigurable manner by introducing a gate you can see that the same uh, design structure that can able to perform both or and and logic operation so this is the model we have proposed a uh, nanomagnetic model that can uh, that can execute a reconfigure logic operation based on the spin orbit torque driven scorpion motion so here heavy metal we have choose uh, platinum and ferromagnetic material we have choose cobalt and we have uh, apply the current in the heavy metal so that charge current will be convert into vertical spin current in the heavy metal that executes spin orbit torque and helps to move the scorpion in the ferromagnetic layer so we, here we have introduced two uh, uh, input input a and input b which helps to nucleate the scorpion and another uh, uh, another output where we can able to detect the scorpion the most importantly here we have introduced a gate that helps to control the scorpion motion this when you apply some current to the gate this is non magnetic metallic gate where the that will result in a oosted field that oosted field helps to control the scorpion in the device so uh, using micromagnetic simulation we have performed this uh, logic device operation so this is a reconfigurable uh, logic operation by a head by a gate control scorpion motion so for the all logic operation the metallic gate is in open circuit configuration that means no oosted field is created near the gate so simply when you nucleate the scorpion and it is followed by the driving current and it will reach the near the output where in case of the two scorpion in the device in the input a and input b only one scorpion is able to reach the output because the topological repulsion between the two scorpion that helps to Uh, only that allow the one scorpion to reach near the output where in case of the ant logic operation the metallic gate is closed circuit configuration means they it will result an oosted field in the ferromagnetic layer so we know that when in the metallic where when you apply some current it will create a field around it so this field is a oosted field so we have locally generated an oosted field in out of plane uh, direction by passing the current through the metallic gate so this gate here in this gate it will create a oosted field and that field helps to pin the scorpion or hold the scorpion near the gate so that it won't allow the scorpion to reach near the output uh, sensor so when two scorpion is there so here the topological repulsion between the two scorpion is dominate over the oosted field generate near the gate as a result here only one scorpion is able to reach near the output sensor so this is the working window of and logic operation for a particular combination of the oosted field and the driving current we are seeing that this and logic operation will work so so here you can see that the and logic operation we have introduced a gate and in this gate we will helps to stop the scorpion to reach the uh, output uh, sensor and here due to the topological repulsion between the two scorpion leads one scorpion to reach the output and other scorpion will stay away from it so in order to understand the strength of the metallic gate as a function of the current density and the oosted field we have nucleated one scorpion and two scorpion in the device so first of all we will fix the current density and we have varied the oosted field in the first case we have seen that at 100 oosted this oosted field is not sufficient enough to hold the scorpion because the uh, this is uh, because the driving current is dominant over the oosted field then further we increase into 200 oosted we have seen that the oosted field now is able to stop the scorpion and on further increase on 300 oosted we have seen that the scorpion is start to deform uh, while in case of the two scorpion we have observed that only one scorpion is able to pass and other scorpion is pinned near the gate in 200 oosted on further increase 250 oosted we have seen that both the scorpion are stop they are not able to reach towards the output and on further in case 300 oosted we have seen that scorpion starts to differ at a particular fixed uh, current density 
So in order to understand the Skirmian trajectory under the driving current and its stability over the time in our device, we have estimated Skirmian Hall angle. So uh, under the driving uh, current, the, the topological spin structure Skirmian that will be deflected its path and it moves a curved trajectory and make an angle with respect to the electron flow. That is called Skirmian Hall angle. This is well understood from the Thaley equation. And uh, here in our device, we have calculated the Skirmian Hall angle in which we observe that the Skirmian Hall angle for the OR and AND logical it is drastically reducing and it is stable for the time. And this is the trajectory for the all logic and AND logic. We can see that uh, after 13, uh, 13 nanosecond, the Skirmian will be stable. That shows that there is a stability in our uh, device architecture. In order, to, uh, understand, in order to show the robustness of the geometry, we have varied the dimension of the dimension of the nanostructure. Here, the upper upper branch and lower branch, we have varied the angle between upper branch and lower branch. And we have seen that it is our device structure is feasible from 15 degree to 19 degree, uh, that slanted angle. And after that, we have varied the width of the upper channel and as well as the, the width of the lower channel. And we have seen that for a wide range of uh, wide range of the uh, uh, structure our device is feasible is for operation of the reconfigure logic for or and and logic operation so in summary we have proposed a demonstrated a novel nanomagnetic device that executes reconfigure Skirmian logic operation using spin orbiter uh, driven Skirmian motion in the nanostructure and a reconfigure is achieved in a single device model by switching on and off the current through the non-magnetic metal ligate where the resultant oersted field control the Skirmian motion and the oersted field is engineered to implement ant logic operation and the, we have estimated the Skirmian Hall angle in order to understand the Skirmian trajectory as well as the driving current and its stability over the time in the device. The robust operation we have presented by varying the geometrical parameter as well as the various material parameter in the device. Thank you for the kindness. Yeah, thank you um, Vivekananda for this uh, nice talk. So um, we will take some few questions. Do we have questions? Uh, yeah, so Ajitya, you, yeah, you can yeah, hear you me. Ask. Yeah, so hi Vivekananda, yeah. it's a nice hi. presentation. Just wondering about your slide seven. Can you go to your slide seven? So just so uh, if you see, uh, yeah, 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 right here. So if you see Y safe of this one and your C and A, which is making angle 120 degree nearly, right? So if you make your output B, sorry, the input B of making same 120 degree to A, how the output will explode? I think that is what missing in your whole system. So, sorry, so here actually the of, uh, the branch A, where the input A is there and input uh, B is there, yeah. yeah, that is angle 45 degree. Yeah, yeah. So, no, no, if, you, if you see the output, where the output, yeah. no, the yeah. axis, let's say A and C, which is making nearly 120 degree, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, input B, if you make like 120 degree to your output, so how the system output will be? So, that is what so, missing in your whole system I guess. yeah here also in the robot net i have shown that yeah so here, this is what you are saying so here is carbon is not able to come here no if you make in perfect y as a symmetric this is this is what what missing here oh, I guess. okay yeah so, uh, here uh, if you keep uh, as a out so we need to change the input and output position and will, uh, will, you, will you get the i mean as you expect in this case Theta equal to 15 degree to 19 degree. Yeah, in, in the theta 15 degrees, to 90 right degree, we are able to achieve the reconfigure logic get. And okay. while you uh, consider this 120 degree, we are not able to achieve the gate. Okay, that's right. Okay, uh, so just quick. So which system do you prefer for this kind of logic in experimental? So here uh, we have choose the cobalt and platinum. Okay, cobalt and platinum. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your reply. Thank you. Yeah. So, is there any other question? So, uh, if there is no question, so um, let's thank um, 
the speaker and uh, we can go ahead with the next speaker. 